Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for January. January the 6th through January the <laughs> 12th. 2020. Oh my God, 2020. Can you believe it? It's 2020. Okay, Scorpio, what is going on? General message for the week, your weekly message for like those darn dates, <laughs> January 6th through January the 12th. Angels and guides, we're looking for, you know what? Okay, okay, angels, I got it, I got it, I got it. Scorpio, Scorpio, what is going on for Scorpio for these seven little days? Sometimes the cards just pop out and it's like, you know what, Dora? Don't reshuffle. The angel is just trying to tell you, yes, 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 to just let it flow, let it flow. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Angels and guides, angels and guides, we're looking for positive energy for, for Scorpio. Very powerful. I feel like this is very powerful for you guys. What is going on? Yes, yes, yes. For, bum, 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 bum. we did these already. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, angels. Angels of light cards. I love these cards. I love these cards so much. Angels and I don't covet these cards more than the others. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. I love them all. They all have deep messages for all of us. Yes, yes, yes. What is going on mm -hmm. for Scorpio? Thank you, angels. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is going on? Okay, so we're looking for positive energy for Scorpio. Yes, yes. Okay, so angels, major theme for the week, Scorpio, king of pentacles. You know what? You're in charge. Okay, you are definitely in charge, right? And I feel like love begins. I feel like it's beginning, it's beginning because you're showing your power. They are attracted to your power. Yes, 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 with the nine of diamonds. I feel like you may be letting something go as in maybe, I feel like you're spending money. I feel like you're, you're or, or, or nines are about releasing or giving, right? So I feel like you're, you're, um, you're giving something to love, to your family, to security in love, and it's bringing the angel of serenity. It's bringing you peace. So they are very attracted to your flow, okay? All right, now, when we look in the recent past, we have the, um, the four of wands, the fertility, the two of hearts, the ace of hearts, and the angel of beauty. Something beautiful is going on here, or did in the past. So, in the recent past, your family, your home life, your peace, your security was definitely there. It felt solid, but, but it was growing. Yes, with the fertility, it was definitely growing and it was bringing two love energies together, whether that is romantic, whether that is family, whether that is friends, but it was definitely, you were getting close to someone and there was a new beginning and the beginning was all about the angel of beauty. It was beautiful, okay? Now, in the middle of the week, in the middle of the week, we have the temperance card, Scorpio, with the stand your ground, six, oh, jack of hearts, six of spades, and the angel of healing. So in the middle of the week, I'm definitely feeling like, um, why do I feel like someone is trying your patience and you have to be, you're like, like you're, you're holding it in, you're holding it in, Scorpio. And, and you're like, um, you know what? Even though I'm being quiet in this, even though I'm being patient, I'm still standing my ground. It is what it is, okay? Because remember, remember the theme of the week is you're, they're attracted to your power, okay? So now, there, I do feel like there is a sacrifice and this sacrifice is a faded sacrifice. It needs to be made and I feel that you know what it is. You definitely are picking up what is this sacrifice? You, it's, I feel like it's for the family, someone in the family, someone, maybe a mother-in-law, a child, or, or something of that nature, or working overtime. There's a sacrifice, and I feel like that sacrifice is bringing healing, angel of healing. So, Scorpio, whether that's you or whether that's someone else, someone is making a sacrifice for the good of the love right? For the good of the love. Whether it's the family, whether it's romance, it's definitely, definitely 
But it's, I feel like it is trying your patience. This sacrifice is trying your patience. Okay, now, by the end of the week, by the end of the week, Scorpio, what's going on here? So we have the high priestess reversed, uh-huh, uh-huh, with the firm foundation and the ace of spades, the four of diamonds, and the angel of bliss. So by the end of the week, I feel like whatever has been bottled up, bottled up inside of you, bottled up inside of you, I feel like it's coming out. It's definitely coming out by the end of the week. Like, I feel like there, you have been biting your tongue. You have been waiting. You have been patient. Yes. Yes. Angel temperance you have, but by the end of the week, it's coming out. And you know what, with the firm foundation, I feel like the way it's coming out, it's almost like you, you may be not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Or someone may be being a little bit stubborn. Not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not placing that energy on you, but it could be okay now the ace of spades i feel like is to it's telling us that um there's it's like um you're going within you're going deep 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 within right and if you're not going deep 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 within and doing that soul searching yeah because i feel like i feel like someone is testing you to see how you know it's like okay you said this and you you've um i feel like why do I feel like someone is testing you? Like testing you to, to like you said that A, B, C, and D. I feel like this week, by the end of the week, they're testing you to see does he or she really mean that, right? Somebody might push a little bit, but I feel like you will, um, I feel like that, that, that deepness, that, that soul searching is going to make you go within because you really, you really want security in your life. I feel like this, you know what, I'm picking up that this might have something to do with work, e either work or spiritual work, like physical labor work, like you go to work, blah, 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 nine to five or whatever it is that you apply to your life as work. I feel like, um, I feel like whatever it is that you are firm about, whether it is spiritual work, whether it is going within and, and speaking your truth, whether it is an actual physical job that you feel you need to do, I feel like it's, um, I feel like it needs to be done for financial security, whatever it is, it needs to be done. And I feel like if you go through this, if you, if you go deep and you stand tall and you say, as a matter of fact, it is this way, right? Um, and you don't, you don't let someone, um, push you in a direction that you feel like this is not the way it should be. I feel like that is going to cause, yes, the angel of bliss to bless you. So, so stand your ground. I'm feeling stand your ground. That's what I'm picking up. Now your bonus quite a bit. I hope you have coffee. Okay. So the bonus is the Knight of Wands, uh huh, reverse with the Emperor card reverse and the rejoice. Oh, so it did work. <laughs> rejoice a celebration. Prosperity begins. Oh, you did it, Scorpio. Um, discontent and boredom with the King of Hearts and the Jack of Spades and the Angel of power, <laughs> the angel of power. So I'm definitely picking up the Knight of Wands reversed. I feel like some of the, some of your, uh, you know, bra, what is that word? It's like your power, your, your energy was bigger than life. Right. And I feel like it's, it's uh, by, by the end, you're like, you know what? I can bring it down. I can bring it down a peg. I can bring it down a peg with the emperor reverse. Yeah. You're like, you know what? I don't have to be so, um, like I don't have to come off. So, so, um, like a military, like bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, military person. Right. And I feel like when you, 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 you still, you still kept your boundary, right? You still did but you did it differently with love right and that came with that caused um, um rejoice and celebration right and the prosperity began so it's almost like that saying um it's almost like that saying you can catch more bees with honey yeah that one okay all right and that's what you did that's what you did and and i feel like the prosperity began so much so that you're like you know what this is becoming very easy i feel like this is getting easier for you because you are learning whoa 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 to master your emotions and handle situations in your life with a different like you're still not backing down you're still standing your ground but you're doing it with style and finesse yes 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 and with the jack of spades i feel like this is something new for you this is something like you know what i used to handle these situations like brute right like like do it this way do it that way blah blah blah, blah. no no you're doing it differently yes but but 
The last card is the angel of power. You still are holding your power. How about that? How about that? Scorpio, you are amazing this week. If it is not you, yes, it may be the cross watcher, but someone is definitely holding their power. They are setting their boundaries. Um, and I feel like the boundaries will be tested. Yeah, they will be tested. Might have something to do with work or spiritual work. Maybe someone trying to change your mind and you're like, no, 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 because I know what the outcome will be, which will be the angel of bliss. Okay, so I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.